guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we build business, create community, find freedom, and share success. It's a wonderful Wednesday morning, which means it's time for another Tool Time Gear review. And as always, I've got something good for you. You guys might have seen uh, about a month ago now that Diablo was nice enough. They saw my Diablo video and decided to reach out and send me a care package, which I really do like some of their products, but I told them the only way I would take them is if I could give honest reviews on a few of the products. And this week, I wanna to talk to you about the one that caught my eye the most, the 12 inch Diablo pruning blade. Hey guys, real quick before we dive in, if you wanna know more about me, you know the routine, toolmantim.co, or if you're new here, Run by and say, see toolmantim.co. You'll find everything there is to know about me, my social media link, sign up for the monthly newsletter, check out the weekly audio podcast, and check out the shop where I have over 100 products listed that have solved problems for me in my handyman business and in my real world life. So check that out, guys. Okay, so this week, you know, like I said, I have always enjoyed my Diablo circular saw blades. But most of their products, to be absolutely honest, are a little on the expensive side. Now, they're, they do claim that they're made to last a lot longer, and that is great. I do like that about them. But most times when you go to the shop or go to Home Depot or Home Hardware, one of those places, and you look and you're like, ah, I don't know, I need a reciprocating saw blade. Do I want to spend all that extra money, or am I okay with the generic or lesser priced ones that I've used for a long time? And to be honest, most times I just go with those. And I may not have bought these products for a long time simply because I didn't want to spend the extra money on these pruning blades. And again, I have a perfectly good chainsaw that I love to use, but I thought it would be kind of cool to give these guys a test. And of course, soon after I picked up these blades, we had a great big plow wind come in. Might even had a little rotation to it, who knows, but it was big enough to pick a whole bunch of stuff up and knock some tree limbs down that were even six inches in diameter. So if you guys want to check out this thing in action, let's cut to some footage. These guys got 4.8 stars out of 5 on Amazon with over 500 reviews. They're carbide teeth, which isn't as common on reset blades as you might think. Three teeth to per inch, so there's a big gap there which is supposed to work really well for uh, re uh, chip removal and material removal and help keep it uh, calm or uh, not, not from getting so hot, which is kind of nice. The blade coating on there helps it cut back and forth really smooth. I've done quite a bit of cutting and you only just start to see the paint wearing off a little bit. For comparison, there's a brand new blade right there. This is the package they come in, a 10 pack. Right now there's a three pack for just over 30 bucks American on Amazon. So they're about 10 bucks a piece. Now Diablo claims that they'll last 50 times as long as a normal reset blade. I have no doubt. I mean, it seems like it's gonna hold up but I'm, to be honest, I'm never going to use, I, I may never even wear one of these blades. I'll use them and I'll use them a lot. Do they work well? Absolutely. Are they as fast as a chainsaw? No. Are they supposed to be? No. Do they give a really nice, really smooth cut to the, the limb that's coming off? Yes. So what did I learn using these? At first, I really didn't like them. And that's simply because I was holding them back and I wasn't getting them right in against that shoe right there. So it was really, really vibrating. And mine has a little bit of an oscillating to it too. So that may be a bit of an issue. But what I did find is there's a sweet spot. And it's like that with uh, a pole saw too. You gotta, you gotta get used to where to set the blade when you're cutting. But it seems to be somewhere in around here you put the branch. And then you kinda gotta go to about a 45. And when you hit that, that goes through it like a hot knife through butter. Now, am I gonna switch over from all my landscaping gear to using a reciprocating saw with a 12 inch blade for cutting this kind of stuff. No, but if you read online, what a lot of guys have used these for is actually cutting out uh, roots down under the ground. And I can tell you one thing, I damn well know that I'm not gonna be taking my DeWalt 60 volt chainsaw and digging it down into the ground and doing that. And a cheaper reciprocating saw blade is gonna end up bending, warping, getting wonky. But a lot of the reviews I read People were very happy with poking these down in the ground. And this nice blade here is really good at hooking in and getting started, but it's really good for that. So, you know, you could call it the demolition blade of uh, pruning saws. But 
you know, if I happen to be out doing some work for a customer, obviously don't have my chainsaw, but I have my reciprocating saw and I have a couple of these blades in my toolbox, absolutely I'm going to use these. They give you a nice, smooth, fast cut, a little bit slower than a chainsaw, but nobody said they're a chainsaw blade either. So there's another tip online from an Amazon user. He said he uses spray silicone, uh, just applies it a little bit to the blade after every three or four cuts and it helps it go through like a hot knife through butter. So will this ever, will these Diablo pruning blades ever replace my chainsaw? Absolutely not. Not in a hundred years. But who is this for? Okay, number one, if you don't already have a battery powered chainsaw and you have very little use for a battery powered chainsaw, but you're worried about being able to clean up, say, after a windstorm, or you just have, you know, say a few branches every year that hang down in a country driveway or something like that, and you want a cordless way to do it that won't kill you, won't break the bank. Well, a two or three, two or three of these guys is a lot cheaper than buying a new cordless chainsaw. Now, hey, who doesn't like buying a new toy? I get it. But for me, for the person who, who these are designed for, I mean... You know, a landscaper may keep some of these for certain uses. They need to reach in certain spots or tight little things. One thing I like about this is you can kind of insert it in and you don't have to, you can be a little more dainty with it. Maybe that's the right word. So like with a chainsaw, you know, you've got that big wide blade that's going to be spinning and cutting when you get it in there. But with this guy, you've only got uh, about an inch, inch and a half. You just stick it in, get it in there and you can cut just the limbs off you want. I like that too. But honestly, the way I see these is for homeowners you know, or people that live in storm areas that have some cleaning up to do that don't want to keep a chainsaw around, don't want to have to deal with chain oil. These are absolutely perfect for that. And they are durable too. I, for the use, I use them. I like them. I will run them through some more tests. I probably won't do another follow-up video unless you guys really want one, but I'll post some of the footage on social media just to let you know what I think of it. But you know what? This Diablo brand, great. Ah, uh, you know, I probably... I really appreciate them sending me these because I probably wouldn't have spent the money on them to get started with. But now that I have them, I'm going to put them through their paces. I'm going to test them and I'm going to report back to you guys and let you know what my future thoughts are on them. But yeah, for anybody who's just a backyard hobbyist or just has a few branches they need to clean up every, once or twice a year from a storm, these will work perfect for that. And they'll last forever. One blade will probably do you for a few seasons. So I hope you guys liked that look at these uh, Diablo blades, uh, put them to the test, showed you a little bit of footage of how they actually worked. And yeah, I hope that did it for you guys. I appreciate it. I love you guys dropping by, hanging out in the shop with me. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, interact in the comments below. Let me know other videos you'd like me to do, maybe head to head comparisons of different things, whatever. I, I'm game for almost anything. If you guys like talking about tools or listening to me talk about tools, keep dropping by. I always appreciate it. So that's it for me this week, guys. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.